Very frequently I'm asked by my patients, Doc, why don't you do non-surgical face or neck lifts? And I'm really in a doubt why I'm really truly not considering that. Because I have tried some. I have tried some tread lifts. I have tried some uh, uh, Kybellas. I have tried some uh, radio frequency like Termage. But to tell you the truth, I have not seen the results with these techniques that are really close to my results with the, any type of neck lift that I do surgical. And um, there is no doubt that in some well selected patients, usually younger patients that have some problem with the skin laxity, they have a little bit problem of the jawline uh, presentation, maybe small chin. However, most of the patients that I see in my practice, and that is a you know practice that cover patient group anywhere from their twenties to the late uh, 70s present with the anatomically visible neck deformity. When they come for face and neck, dominant deformity is always neck. So when you know the anatomy, as a good surgeon should know, we have recently introduced Kybella in our practice. Kybella is uh, uh, a special technique that destroys basically uh, the fat tissues in the neck by means of lipolysis, injecting the agent in a fat tissue, it creates a, a, a destruction of the tissue. And uh, our first results, I would say maybe 10, 12 patients that we have treated, are really not close to the results that I achieved with the selective liposuction or not to mention the open anterior neck lift that I usually perform. There have been few patients that were ha very happy. Again, they are from that category that they don't want to have any surgery. However, most of the patients that I have treated and I thought that they need surgery really did not have the improvement that would justify doing Kaibala. So, lots of problems with that. Pain in particular, long recovery, swelling, and when you put that all together, it is practically longer recovery in those few patients see what is the deformity, I can address removing the superficial fat, I can remove the fat that is on, uh, below platysma muscle, I can adjust the muscles that are inserted too low and create the obtuse angles, and I can do all of these things at the same time. Usually we use a, just a twilight anesthesia for that, although in some cases I can do it in local anesthesia without any uh, this, this, uh, discomfort for a patient. Recovery time, seven to ten days, people can go work maybe in a day or two, definitely after the weekend, and without really stigmas of any surgery. Definitely the most uh, generous and the most efficient way of addressing the neck problem for people that have truly the neck anatomical problems. Surgery is easy, results are predictable, and when you look and compare the prices of these procedures versus non-surgical procedures, they come very close. However, with this procedure, I can deliver constant result, and I can recover. I can give guarantee that procedure that you are going to have is going to uh, give you a predictable and long-lasting results. Done in a young person in in uh, late 40s or even earlier, these lifts are lasting at least 10 to 12 years.